watching the basement yard. Okay, so today is gonna be a little bit of a different video. Lately, I've been more inspired to shoot digital. Yesterday, I went out to Discovery Park in Washington, or I guess Seattle, technically. You'll pro you'll see the vlog of that as to what all happened. Basically, I just parked a really long ways away. I had to walk like 30 minutes, and in those 30 minutes, I had perfect lighting, and then once I got to the lighthouse where I was trying to shoot, um, I lost all my light behind the cloud, and then the sun went under. That was very sad. I still ended up with really good digital shots. I was shooting on these two so I was shooting double X, uh, Sinistil's double X, and uh, Candido, I think this is the four, oh sorry, the 200 speed Candido. So the double X is a variable speed film which gives you the option to either shoot 200, 400, or 800. Uh, in this case I shot it at 400 and I actually still overexposed it by one stop. So if I was light metering uh, 400 ISO and it was telling me f8, I was shooting it at f5.6. So I was always giving it a stop more. If you don't know, film does a lot better when overexposing and getting those shadows rather than underexposing because you lose all of the depth, all of the clarity in darker areas and shadows of the photos. So I overexpose, which does not mean pushing. This doesn't mean that I have to send it into the lab and tell them to push it a stop. This just means I overexposed it purposely in camera and then the lab will still develop it the exact same way. Nothing has changed. So today I'm just going to walk around a neighborhood and I'm gonna shoot digitally just because I want to produce more digital work. This is awesome to see some light, so I should probably wrap this video up as soon as I can and then get my butt over to, I usually go to um, Sewall, Sword, Sword. Uh, it's like a little park. I'm from West Seattle, so it's a little park on the other side of the peninsula. I'm gonna go over there. There's some really, really cool homes, mostly kind of like mid-century, just vibey homes, vibey neighborhoods. So I'm gonna go over there and then I'm gonna go for a run afterwards. Um, aiming for that five miles. So, okay, I'm excited. All right, so come along with me to do that right now. All right, bye. It's actually very, it's very mild outside. Um, my car is telling me it's 50 degrees. I can totally see uh, in front of me, facing north towards Seattle, that there is 100% <laughs> very, very dark clouds. So <laughs> I just love how everything is just very damp right now and the sun randomly keeps breaking. So yeah, I'm kind of excited to get some very dramatic shots. I love that for me. Got to charge the watch. Uh, I got to keep up because I, I can't not have the watch on me when I run. Because like if you don't track it, like did you even run? Okay, so it is 1.55. I'm gonna try and make this video as quick as I can. The sun is slowly but surely kind of going behind some clouds. I just got to the location that I kind of want to start shooting around and honestly, don't mind if I do. I look creepy doing this, but don't mind it. Oh shit, I'm an S log. So, um, I'm going to limit myself to shooting on my 35. Um, I'm shooting F8, but I'm gonna go back to 5.6 or 4. I definitely, I know I look creepy doing this. <laughs> I know I look so weird shooting photos out of my window, but um, this is my composition. I'll take a video of it in just a second, but all right, I'm here. Let's start shooting around. So, wish me luck. So I am basically just going to walk around the area, see what I can find. Kind of hoping I can find like a sweet car here or there. The clouds have rolled in. Um, I feel like I keep seeing rain off in the distance, but I think it's just haze or fog. I've just kind of been walking around this area, snagging some photos. I'm gonna go back down to, I think it's called Seward. It's a hard park. I still am not sure how to pronounce it, but I kind of like this scene up here. Probably gonna keep, keep walking around and shooting.
against borrowed time now. You can see over here, <laughs> it's about to downpour. Got the rain jacket on, we're good, but... <laughs> oh my gosh, shut up. I hit the jackpot, but I'm gonna go over here and take a photo of this really cool BMW against these like hedges. Are you kidding? This is awesome, thank you. For a second there, I was focusing a little bit too much on cars. More so just because there wasn't much architecture to take photos of. Now it's a different story. It looks really awesome down through here. This is, it gives me like Los Angeles vibes. There's just so much around this area that you can take photos of. So uh, the rain has not come yet. All right, this is a pretty good scene right here. I'm probably gonna put this away and take some photos shut up because this is so pretty right now between the car and the carport the clouds the sun i should just be quiet and take a photo <laughs> this is awesome this looks so good so oh yeah five six 160 iso and then also 160th of a second oh fuck yeah she's peeking look oh fuck wait 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 <laughs> oh my god, it's so pretty. Shut up. Hold on, I'm gonna go take a photo of this Volvo one more time. Volvo. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I feel like I need to come back up a lot. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna be next. No idea what I'm doing. I don't know. Just taking sick pics, you know? I'm gonna keep walking around. The sun is still hanging around for a little bit, but I feel like it probably won't stay here <laughs> much longer. I'm, I'm excited to edit these. These are gonna be so fun. I think I can officially call it. It is four o'clock, the sun, is gone though. So I've been doing this for the last two hours. I don't actually know. I can't remember what time I, I pulled in and parked, but I feel good. I feel sweaty. I feel tired. My foot kind of hurts, but it's worth it. All worth it. The cool house too. Don't mind if I do. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Look, my watch that I forgot to put on before I walked like 10 miles. <laughs> I didn't expect to go this far. And if I if I knew I was gonna go this far, I definitely, definitely would've worn this. As long as I walk and stay active, it counts in my brain. Anyways, uh, I think it was successful. I honestly kind of, when I was walking around, I was like, oh shoot, I didn't really take much b-roll of me just walking i talk a lot of b-roll of me talking you might be left with a lot of that in this vlog i apologize yeah i never i never ended up getting rained on <laughs> so that's um that's a win in my book it felt so different i haven't gone out of my way to like set up like a shoot where i just walk around and take photos uh digitally all right anyways i'm gonna drive back home why do my hair looks so silly make some dinner edit some photos i hope that this is a fun video i'm probably gonna do some more like this especially when cal's out here yeah yesterday was discovery park today was Se seward park seward park so whatever thank you so much for watching 
please subscribe if you feel like this is something that you could relate to or follow me on Instagram. Um, my handle is at that Liz chick. Shoot me a DM. If you are in the area of Seattle, let me know and I would be happy to collab and walk around and do a bunch of things just because again, I'm new and I don't want to say that I don't have friends. <laughs> I'll say it without saying it. I just shoot photos a lot. So I will catch you guys later. Thank you again for watching.